Welcome to Wine Wednesday. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Right, and since I'm with the ladies today, I thought it would be appropriate that we perhaps talk lady problems or lady things like the dreaded pap schmear. Pap schmear. I love that she called it a pap schmear. So important, but yes. you know what? Nobody looks forward to them. No, and you know, I'm glad we're talking about this because it yeah. actually is really important for women to be getting their pap smears. On a regular basis, which is once a year, correct? Uh, it depends on the province you're in. I think in Ontario, where I live half the time, it's every three years. Okay, that's what I don't understand because I'm glad we're talking about this because I'm confused because my doctor told me once every two years yes. and I'm like, but what if something happens during one year? Like, why not just do it once a year? I mean, I think it's partly a cost issue. I don't think the MSP and the government wants to so pay they don't for Okay, but those metal syrups, year. could they put on some, you know, yeah. fur-covered anything or to make the experience? Some like, nice music, you know, anything to make the experience a little bit I more mean, warm. I mean, at some clinics they do try and make it a little bit better in terms of like the temperature of the room and, and the doctor who you are her with, you know, and I've heard some people say, you know, I, I have a like a male doctor and it's yeah. really difficult because it does not feel comfortable. No, like that's I don't not like something that. that I'm comfortable with. So I've always I think had a male doctor. doctor. And, but you're cool with it though. I'm cool with it. I mean, yeah. he's been my doctor for 25 years. Right. It's business as usual. I personally feel he's like... He's not a hot doctor, so... Maybe that would make it. Although it's not the most comfortable experience no matter who's doing no, it. No. Right? But I feel like if you're doing a lot of, you know, studying to be a doctor, you know what you're talking about. But I don't... I feel like a woman knows what she is looking at. And I want a woman looking at everything and making sure everything's good down there. And I feel very uncomfortable with a guy doing it. I had a guy doing it once. And he, he, they have to bring a nurse in usually yeah. to do it. And I just... The whole time I was like, well, I have to do this. I have no choice, but I did not feel comfortable at all. Yeah, it is super uncomfortable and you can, I think there are other clinics in Vancouver and other cities where they do women's health days. So even if it's your, not your doctor, you could go in and get your pap there yeah. and then they'll send the results to your family doctor. So that's the way of making it more comfortable for you. But I think the other thing to also think about is it's not just the pap smear, but it's the, your whole physical. Like it's also about checking your breasts. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we always tell women um, to have your partner check too for you. So then it's not just when you're doing your physical, but you know, who knows your boobs better than the guy or girl. Okay, here's the interesting them all story. The just I want right? to share yeah. this story. Uh, personal, a personal relative's uh, relative. 70 year old, 70, 80 year old woman who, you know, you're not sexually active anymore, not really thinking about your vagina as much yeah, anymore. I'm sexually active. I hope I'm sexually active yeah. when I'm Well, you just do. I mean, obviously, you know, if, if you just never know, but how important it is even into our old age because she did find that something came up when she did have that pap smear. So even at the, at, you know, in the older years, in the next chapter, don't forget to look after the goods. I mean, cervical cancers, ovarian cancers, like this is how we're finding them. And if you're not getting your regular tests, saves then lives. yeah, it saves lives. Like it literally saves your life to yeah. be regular about this. So I think it's you, uncomfortable ladies, but yeah, you know, it's not just the best experience, but you deal need to with do it. it. I don't like the whole time I'm doing it. She's talking to me. I'm like, can you please just not talk to me about what I'm going to do this summer? You should put TV. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like, small like talk. The oh, small oh. talk. Dentist. I, I had nails like this one time when I went in to get my oh. hair. and she said, "Oh, I bet you're glad you don't have nail. I don't have nails like oh, this." I was I like, "Oh, I you meant she did." Yes, I am Thank glad. Goodness. No, God, that would be terrifying. Just a friendly reminder, all you ladies out there, to don't forget your annual pap smear. How important it is, and yeah, keep that conversation going. And check your body oh, regularly. Yeah. yeah. Cheers.